What can this Trader Joe's dark chocolate bar teach you about subscription growth? That's the topic of this episode. I'm Robert Scrove, and this is the show that helps your membership or subscription business to be unleavable. This is a 72% cacao dark chocolate bar from Belgium. Although I'm a dark chocolate snob, this is a great bar for the price. And even better, here's a three pack of 72% cacao dark chocolate bars. Three bars is even better than one. Here is a great book, Retention Point, by me, Robert Scrobe. As of the date of this recording, I have sold 10,798 copies of this book. Absolutely a solid performer in the nonfiction world. Now, here's three more copies of the book, Retention Point by Robert Scrobe. Is three copies better than one? Well, yes, for some, because I've had orders uh, for a couple hundred at a time, but for 99%, one copy is all they need. More copies of the book is not better. Many subscription businesses fall into the same trap. For chocolate, three bars is definitely better than just one. For books, magazines, and information, more is often just too much. Today, many subscription offers try to create great offers, but they actually hurt their new member conversion and retention rates because they're delivering more where more is simply too much. In this episode, I'm going to reveal the best way to craft a winning offer that delivers exactly what your subscriber wants without falling into the trap of providing too much. This will help you increase your new member conversion as well as improve your retention rates. Before that, however, press the like button and also subscribe to this channel to make sure that you're the first to know about future episodes. Most subscription growth teams use the same approach to impact subscription conversion and retention, the value they deliver. Even Trader Joe's acknowledges that the value decreases with each incremental chocolate bar. A three pack of bars costs less per bar than a single bar. The value of each bar declines as the quantity increases. This happens faster with information. The value of one copy of Retention Point, $24.95. Heck, this book outlines my entire consulting process for improving retention rates for some of the biggest worldwide subscription businesses, and it's just $24.95. That's tremendous value. But what's a second copy worth to you? Maybe something because you can pass it along, but as I add copies and more copies, the value declines a lot. Same with your information. Subscription businesses should never conflate more content with delivering more value that's worth paying for. At a point, you begin to overwhelm your subscriber. They feel bad if they don't consume everything that you send. Each installment makes your subscriber feel worse. Overwhelmed, subscribers cancel their subscription rather than feel bad about not having time to use your stuff. One more brief, brief illustration, then I'll have an example about how to do this right. One of the most important points within this book, Retention Point, is that value is like water. Too much is just as bad as too little. Same with value. Let's say I offered you all the answers to attracting new members and grow your recurring revenue business. It's all within eight hours of videos for the price of $5,000. One day you can be the smartest person in the room for subscription growth strategies and tactics, have a complete swipe file of offers and retention secrets. For $5,000, you're considering to buy this product for yourself and your team. Now, Pick a number between one and 10, with 10 being buy it immediately and zero being not interested in this offer for these retention secrets, an eight hour program for $5,000. Now, what if I improve the offer? Instead of eight hours of membership growth secrets for $5,000, 
I'll deliver 16 hours of membership and growth secrets. I've doubled the value. Now, on a scale of one to 10, what's your desire level of 16 hours of training? Probably actually lower, isn't it? Same with your members when you try to deliver more. Now, let's go back to the eight hour attract new members product for $5,000. This time, I'll add value by throwing in a two page quick start guide. Everything you need to launch and grow your subscription revenue on two simple pages, step by step. Now, with the two page quick start guide uh, and the eight hour training on a scale of one to 10, does this simplification increase your desire for the offer? Well, it's almost always yes. Simplification is more important than more stuff. At least when you aren't trying to deliver chocolate, with chocolate, more is always more. With everything else, value is like water. Too much is just as bad as too little. Subscription box companies try to solve their growth problems with what they deliver in the box. SaaS companies try to grow revenue by adding new features to their product. Publishers try to bring on a new writer or a new media property in order to create more value. These are each examples of where more is not necessarily better. Here's an example of a great subscription offer. NFTs have become a popular new investment mechanism. I was part of the amazing team that created and launched NFT Nation, a community of investors seeing opportunities in the NFT space. As we designed the subscription offer, we prioritized simplicity and curation over volume. We positioned this product as a simplifier rather than as a comprehensive everything in one program. Rather than teaching everything about NFTs, we instead focused on what you need to invest in the best NFT investment opportunities. As a publish publishing business, deliver curation. The copywriter Anthony Flores worked with an NFT guru to coin the term the cusp effect. This creates a proprietary system to simplify decision making and deliver discernment. And the monthly deliverable is a weekly video update about NFT investment opportunities. It's a video because our guru is great on video, has access to a studio, and is good with all the post production. It's so easy to create. This is a launch, so there are a lot of questions. What about adding a community in order to increase conversion? What about turning the video content into a written newsletter so they can read it instead of having to watch it? What about delivering more content, more information? Most teams would add it all. They'd increase that stack as high as possible. Instead, we're focused on our target customer. We created an offer and a product that delivers what that person wants most. Rather than trying to grow the stack of benefits to attract every possible customer, we instead curated the perfect program for our target member. We may add some of those additional benefits in the future, but by adding them after launch, we're able to measure their impact and we reduce the amount of work that has to be done to get this subscription off the ground. That's what it takes to be unleavable. Resist the temptation to add more and more. Often subscription professionals wanna add more new members and improve retention by adding more. More deliverables, more features, and more value. This forces your member to do the work of sifting and sorting through your product to extract what they want and need. Instead, smart subscription professionals do the hard work of understanding their target customer. They curate the product to deliver exactly what their best customer wants, and they leave out the rest. More is not more, except when it's chocolate. Now, if you've enjoyed and benefited from the concepts that I've shared within this episode, then I am confident that you're going to love this resource. After more than 25 years of working with subscription and membership businesses, I've identified all of the key factors that are seen in the most successful subscription businesses. If you'd like to know what they are, you can either buy the book on Amazon or instantly download a digital copy for free 
at subscriptionsmadeeasy.com. After you receive the book, there's an opportunity to have me walk you through the details and get your questions answered. You'll probably want that too, but there's no obligation. What do you think about determining the value you deliver within your subscription offerings? Post your thoughts in the comments below. I love to hear from you, and I encourage you to share your thoughts and opinions about that or anything else that I've covered in this episode below. Also, remember to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already, and that way you'll be the first to know when new episodes are available. And finally, check out this video where I go deeper into the number one subscription startup mistake and how to avoid it. Great insight for growing your own subscription. Enjoy that episode, and I'll see you next time on Be Unleavable.